morning world welcome to wednesday 11th of august 2020 uh sorry 2021 um i've got to shoot up to town to sort out some money because it turns out i haven't paid for our tractor service that was done ages ago i thought i'd done it i transferred the funds but mrs p used them for something else another bill that had to be paid so uh, I've just got the statement today said I've been paid so that's first priority go up hate debts so we're going to settle our debt I've got to go and look at a tree job for a local estate and then I've got to shoot to Stonehouse no Stroud to pick up I'm going to pick up a new battery for the dumper and I'm going to get a new earth connector for the battery because I've got a funny feeling that that's part of my problem on that machine I think the earth connector is just knackered. Right, okay. Let's go. That looks like my wife. Hello, wifey. All done? Hey, yeah. eh? hello. Well, I'm going to um, Wotton Bill Society. Sorry, I have some money because I've got to pay Neil James. We haven't paid his bill. So I'm going to go and draw a check out for that, I'll take it down later on. And then I go to Stroud, Battery, Bits and Bobs, Beverston on the way back. What, should we talk about Coley? I've got to go and see her, but um, that'll be um, Thursday, Friday. Alright, okay. so I'll see you in a couple of hours. Right, bye bye. bye. Busy, 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 busy. Not to get run over by a combine harvester or a dirty great Ford, no? Right. I'm going to pay me debt. That's it, debt free again. My preferred state, debt free. <sighs> right, so next stop is Stroud. Pick up a few bits from there, come back, repair the dumper, and then I can continue on with um, digging out trenches for drainage, etc between looking at some tree work. I gotta look at a tree job as well, so. It's never dull. Well, rarely anyway. All right. Right, I just shot them. There are the guys were here. They're gonna go on putting up the valley gutter, but I can't stay. I have to go and get these bits. Come on. Right, one, two, three. One with sugar and two without. Can I get that out of that? No. So if I wasn't on the camera, this would be easy. Oh yeah, so it's not. Right, good use for a table mat that is. We have three here today. One of these is not for me. Right, well, progress of the gutter is a little bit slow because the timber purlings on that barn apparently they bowed a little bit over the years, which has meant that there's a small section of the roof that has dipped. So trying to get the fall on the gutter is probably not going to be perfect. But as long as it's going the right way, and it is what, four, maybe five inches deep, that trough, water's gonna go away. 
Right, I'm going to go and put the kettle on. A uh, cup of coffee for each of the lads and a slice of coffee cake because David, a subscriber from East Anglia, I think. Was it East Anglia he said it was? It was a long way, it was three hours that way. Has just been in and dropped me off a coffee cake. Um, they're staying at the holiday flats next door. Um, and he said he was going to drop me something, so, but he's forgotten. Biscuits, biscuits. Not that she minds, she's got plenty of biscuits. So yeah, coffee cake, which I think he went up to town and got earlier. This fella, slow seats for the guys. And me. Here you go, Halls. Alexa, stop. So it's not a homemade coffee cake, okay. all right? Because you were getting all concerned that somebody gave me a cake, wouldn't it? What? I'm all for it, you know, you can give him cake, but I told him yes, him I was better, even if it wasn't. Yeah. That was the dog, it wasn't me. <laughs> if you haven't got a trailer squeak, don't worry. So, yes, I am under orders to, it uh, doesn't matter how much I enjoy this cake, it will never be as good as Holly's. Is that right? Yeah. Is that good enough, is it? Yeah. Okay. As long as you're aware that nothing's going to be better than like a homemade cake by me. Your coffee cake's better than the, that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, with love and affection. Even if that's delicious. Yeah. They don't have love and oh. affection in it. Love and affection? Yeah. Is that what you put in it? You put yeah. added love and affection yeah, in it? Yeah, I do. When I make you a cake, I'm like, no. Mm. Uh, oh. Not sure if I approve of that ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Get on. Right, just... The one sugar for Tim, nobody else has sugar. I haven't put enough water in a kettle. I'm going to have to do that again. Oh. It's your fault, talking to you that is. So what we'll do instead. Okay, cake. Ooh, it's vegetarian. I don't think ever any of us are vegetarians. If you're a vegetarian, no, you'd have to leave home if you became a vegetarian. Exactly, you'd be huge disappointed. Instead of just being a usual small disappointment, you'd be a massive one. Yeah, that's right. Mm. I reckon. I reckon we'll polish that off this afternoon. I reckon we'll polish that off this afternoon. The cake? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two pieces each. Well, no, because the best time to eat it is when it's fresh, isn't it? Eh? I will eat your cakes. But I do. I do. It's just that you you put them in the fridge in there, and I and I never go in there. Mm, right, okay. I'll finish making these and I'm going to go down there and eat, we're going to eat cake. It's not your cake though. No. Someone else's cake. No, no. So you could, I'll tell you what, why don't you make a coffee cake later on? Not today, I, not today. They, 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 and, then, and then we can have a comparison. We can have a compare the cake with the guys. You can put some of your extra ingredients in it, you know. <laughs> no, no, never do that. <laughs> Is this where I say fill your boots? Yeah. 
might get a few more viewers here. You never know. What if he fills his boots? Well, when he goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will see if your daughter wants to go out for something to eat. <laughs> what did he say? He said he's going to see if your daughter wants to go out for something to eat. <laughs> Yeah, it probably ain't nothing to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Rebecca is very nice. She's very much like me. I'm going to do that. Yeah. That's done. Do it, yeah. It's a long way, isn't it? <laughs> Anything dribbling out yet? Oh, yeah. So it's not reached the edge yet. Oh, isn't it? Still going. I reckon it's better if the joints stay moist, like on plastic cutting. Yeah. So when they dry out, those rubber seals, Yeah. that's when they start to like leak. Well, the gutter that, the gutter that was on here was pretty rubbish, <laughs> yeah. really, so... Yeah. I don't know. What, are you going to blow on it? Yeah. Hey? What, are you going to blow on it? I thought he was going to top yeah. it up. <laughs> the wind is... You get an extra half point in there, can't you? What's three cups of coffee? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah it's probably a good yeah, half point, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, a good point, I reckon. Yeah. See him? Yeah. If you stand a bit higher, you can top it up. Yeah, I can do that. Literally, about a uh, bit. It's actually going around the hole. It's not actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. That water tension. You get a decent shower of rain, that'll soon fill up, wouldn't it? That'll soon disappear later. Yeah. Like I say, it's, it's like you've got like, like 10 mil in it all the way along. Yeah. Yeah, but what, how deep's the gutter? 80 mil? No. 100. Yeah, it's about 130. Oh, crumbs, well. 6 inches? Yeah, 6 inches. And then it's about 150 wide. But, oh, for a bit of water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, there. Oh well. It's up the end. It's Is it? It's just waiting for the old man to dribble at the end then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's dripping. Is it? Well, uh, it might be the seal. Where is Dan Chris? Do you want me to take you back there and check? Well, you can do, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can see it dripping. You can see, you can see the end of dripping, that's what it is. Yeah, we look after our contractors. Thinking about it. Yeah, like oh, is it? All right. Let's see if this helps. Right, I didn't want to do too much while the guys were busy with the gutter. Um, so the valley gutter is in. Tim did say there was a few problems. The problem is the roof is very, very level. And where all the roof sheets come out and because of the steels on this side, it's very difficult to get a fall. I think he said there's something like, I think it was half an inch, 12 millimeters or something of fall between that end of the roof and that end. That's pretty much all they could get on it. And because 
it's either that purlin or that one. Maybe that one there. Yeah, I think it's that one there. This purlin has warped a little bit, which has pulled the roof in and down. Um, so there's a little bit of a puddle just there. Uh, at its deepest, when it's draining at that side, the puddle is about 10 millimeters. Not ideal, but as the gutter is 160 millimeters deep and 135 millimeters wide, is that what you said? Um, it shouldn't. It shouldn't really make a big difference. Well, so we got the spout in and down. We haven't made up our mind quite what we're doing down there yet. I might even have to put a complete gully down there. I don't know. We're. I'm leaving that hole open, and I'm thinking about that for a minute. But in the meantime, I'd like to get this done before I run out of daylight. Uh, so, what do I think is going on? I think, if you can see, there is a isolator switch there. And I reckon that there's either a fault on that earth on there, or it's this fella, the earth on the battery there. So whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's an earthing problem. So I reckon the easiest way to cure this is to bypass the switch, which I don't really need. I can use this cable that goes to the switch, take it off, put this end on that cable and put it directly on the battery. There's no switch in between. Um, as far as security is concerned, this doesn't go out on site, it lives on the farm. The chances of somebody stealing it, I'd like to say are slim. Not impossible, but uh, I've all told you all where the um, switch is now in there, so you, you know how to do it anyway. That's the key. So that's what we're going to do. I think we'll have that switch out of there. We'll swap over these bits down here. I'm going to take the battery back out to give myself a bit more space, and that's what we're going to do. We'll change it over and then touch wood. That will all work. Yeah, right. Right, next thing is Tim's gone home with my 13mm spanner, but I think that was that was 13, that was 11. I need another 13mm spanner. I'm not going to make him bring it all the way back tonight, just for this. Hmm. I've got another one somewhere. Right, battery is disconnected and out, so I'm not messing about with this. If there's a chance of sparks, we don't want sparks. So basically what I'm going to do is take these few connectors apart, if I can and clean them up, if they need it. Okay. Now, that does feel pretty secure in there and there's no sign of any burning, and it... And that's just water. So do I put this fella back in, when I don't really need it, or do I just take the end off of the chassis down here, up here, cut it off, and put it on the battery? Because that end in there is definitely suspicious. <sighs> so I think that's possible what I'm going to do is basically put the new one of that on there. Take it the switch. <laughs> I should have filmed that bit, but there was a strong chance of bloodshed. I just told my oldest daughter she's put a couple of pounds on. Well, kilos, I said, actually. And, uh, and if looks could kill. But, you know, she is my daughter. I am her dad. I'm entitled to tell the truth, and she will forgive me. May not be this year, but she will forgive me. Right. I need to cut some cable. I thought about doing a hacksaw, then I remembered. We got this fella. And that bolt on there is tight. When I say tight, I mean tight. 
So I'm kind of hoping that the seal and the earth on there is going to be good. I just got to cut that end off there. Make sure I've got the right one. Because I could possibly, maybe, put a second earth on there somewhere. Right, okay. That's got to come off. You can come off there first if you'll cut it. No, you won't. So, it's that one, that one. When you want three hands, it's not out there. Get on there. I don't really want to cut it. It's like a second one. Right. There's tidy. That should slide out of there now. He says. That can go up there. All right. Now we're sucking diesel. Right. That's going to go on there. So that's going to go on there. We need, don't need that bit of insulation. It won't go very well with that on there. Maybe I need to put an edge on this blade again. I was digging ragwort with it again yesterday. The blade didn't like that very much. Where's he tapering in? That's the fat end, that's the thin end. It does make a difference. So it needs to go on that way. Get in there. Right, I need a screwdriver. Try not to stab your hand. All right, he's on there. Okay, now I'm going to try putting the old battery back on first and just see what happens with that, I reckon. Right then. Should we see if it's turret? Got two chances, I reckon. Got ignition. Okay. That didn't work. Right, that's the new battery. I really hope it works this time. That's what it was. Right, I can put back together again now. So it turns out that although that battery was reading 12 volts on my meter, it just had no had some volts in it, no amps. So the battery was knackered. So after all that, I mean the ignition switch definitely did what doing because that was dodgy anyway. Um, I was kind of hoping that that battery was going to be okay, but I've put a Gert big in there now. He's definitely going to work. Question is now though, did I need to take that isolator switch out? 
one or two of you already asked that, haven't you? When it's out now, it's staying out. Fight with this thing now. easier getting in than it was to get out so far. Two. Um. Oh, I thought that was nineteen. Obviously not. No, it is nineteen. I picked up an eighteen. Might be easier with a socket on there. Now, oh, okay, there's nothing pinched in there. Put a socket on those, do those up. I think we're just about done. I am going to be thinking about that though, is did I need to take the isolator switch out and would I have been better leaving it in there? And I'm pretty sure the answer is, yeah, I should have tried the battery first. But, yeah, say lovey. I've actually got a use, another use for that. Now I come to think of it, I don't need it in here. But I can think of something I do need it on. I could go to the workshop and get another ratchet, but the time it would take me to walk up there, unlock the door, go in and get it, walk back down here, oh, I'll finish this. Probably. Somebody mentioned my um, Farmer P torque wrench the other day. Say about oh, their torque wrench made a clicky noise. Mine seemed to make more of a noise when it was tight. Strange that. Right, we are done. Close enough for me. Oh look, it's ten past six. I better go and press an upload button.